And welcome back to Saturday Report. I am Rita Cosby. One month from now, Title 42 is set to expire at our southern border. It was a pandemic-era policy which allowed border agents to turn away migrants due to health concerns. But now, with a record number of illegal crossings, GOP lawmakers are calling on the Biden administration to extend the policy. And by the way, even some Democrats are doing that, too. Joining us to discuss this is Texas Land Commissioner and Texas Attorney General candidate George P. Bush. George, great to have you here on the show. And, you know, I first want to get actually your reaction um, because there is still a uh, Texas National Guardsman who is missing, who actually went in to retrieve a migrant who was drowning. Uh, the migrant was found, but right now I believe the Guardsman is still not located, presumed sadly uh, may have perished. But it just shows how important the work is that our men and women are doing on the border every day. Absolutely, Rita. And I was just on the border for the last uh, three days. And the Rio Grande Valley sector, by the way, encounters 40 percent of all illegal encounters of the estimated two million that we will have this fiscal year alone. And unfortunately, the guardsmen that we believe may have passed due to drowning and rescuing the life of a migrant not only shows the level of sacrifice that our law enforcement put in every single day at all levels, federal, state, county and local, but the consequence of an open borders, a dangerous policy led by the Biden-Harris regime. And that's why Democrats, even in the Capitol, in the Senate and the House, including Henry Cuellar, Texas' own border Democrat, is saying enough is enough. We need to keep Title 42 uh, policy on the books so that we can give our law enforcement a mechanism by which we can turn folks back. Otherwise, there's no deterrent factor we continue to attract millions to our country, a compassionate country, by the way, but leading to a dangerous situation where violent crime, fentanyl, human trafficking, the list goes on, is affecting our border communities in Texas. And so that's why I think Governor Abbott was absolutely right in busing illegals up to the states or to the national to the nation's capital in Washington, D.C., so that folks see on their doorstep what we encounter on our southern border every single day in Texas. You know, George, uh, we heard some really stunning numbers this week that it was more than 40 individuals that were on the terrorist watch list that were arrested. That doesn't include all the gotaways, and there were hundreds of thousands of gotaways in the last year alone. What could happen when the floodgates potentially open, as it looks like it will, um, you know, come May 23rd? We saw 220 thousand uh, these are encounters just in March alone. How bad do you think and how dangerous could it get potentially in a month? Well, Rita, when I talk to Border Patrol officials, including this week, they think that by lifting Title 42, we will be looking at 18,000 known encounters with illegal immigrants on a daily basis. So what that means is that the overall annual figure can rise from 2 million to easily 4 million which in a country of our size definitely changes the faces of it and, and more importantly, ignores the rule of law in our constitution. Look, I speak to you as the son of a legal immigrant, and this is why so many areas of South Texas are turning Republican overwhelmingly for President Trump and I believe for the Republican ticket in 2022, mainly because of this issue alone. There was a, a, a time in our country where we honored those that patiently went, went through the process but now we have a broken uh, promise from uh, President Biden and also Kamala Harris that you can come to our country and receive all the benefits that we've talked about, transportation, health care, education. But yet it's an unfunded mandate on a state like Texas. And that's why long held Democrat territories now are, are coming over to the Republican Party, as evidence uh, this week when I spent time in uh, Hidalgo County, Cameron County and uh, Star County, the three counties that encounter almost half of all illegal immigrants in our in our country's border. Yeah, no, it is such a huge concern. And as you talked about before, it's like every state has become a border state because of this with the flights coming in and so many of the different issues. I want to get you also to respond, um, George, to President Biden, because it was such an unusual moment this week. He was responding to a reporter's question about Title 42, um, and the reporter asked him about it, but he appeared to mix his policies up. I want to play a little bit of it. First of all, there's going to be an appeal by the Justice Department. 
because as a matter of principle, we want to be able to be in a position where if, in fact, it is strongly concluded by the scientists that we need Title 42, that we'd be able to do that. But there has been no decision on extending Title 42. So then, within like seconds afterwards, the White House yet again had to release a clarification on behalf of the president. And it said, I want to clarify that in comments at the conclusion of my remarks this morning, I was referring to the CDC's mask mandate, not 42, and there is no Department of Justice action on Title 42. George, what's your reaction? The president can't even keep this straight. Well, it's laughable if it weren't true, and, and it, but it's just, it's just sad for border communities because this president has been in office for, what, over 40 years? And experts say that he's never been to the Texas southern border, let alone any border with Mexico, talking with Border Patrol officials, whether they're Custom Border Patrol or whether it's ICE folks or t reaching out to our governor and DPS troopers that are on the line every single day. And and to miss this important policy when he's talking about mask mandates rather than understanding what Title 42 just reflects this administration's inability to address a large national security concern. Look, Ukraine is important and everything, but this is our own southern border. And the state of Texas is probably going to have to assert its own sovereignty and do the job of the federal government if, if they're not going to do it for us, whether that's constructing wall on state lands or interdicting, apprehending and prosecuting illegals under state trespassing law. Texas is a big and bold state, as you know, Rita, and we're going to have to do this job because this president is just unaware of the challenge that's facing us. Yeah, no, it certainly seems that way. Well, George, thank you so much for being with us, and good luck. I know you have a runoff coming up soon. Good luck in your race, too. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.